Welcome back. So I was going to jump straight into it. First of all, I want to do a bit of housekeeping and that's based around like, share and subscribe as always in order for me to do these videos more for you. And I'm loving doing these videos because I know it's a benefit and it helps me with my research in order to benefit you guys. And I've had so much good response based around my last video, which I'm going to put up here or up here based on the um, 20 symptoms or sorry, the 10 symptoms of the twin flame and a soulmate. So first of all, I bet you're wondering what the hell is a soulmate? What I'm sorry, what the hell is a twin flame and what is a soulmate? So let me start with a um, soulmate. A soulmate could be anybody. It can be a good friend of yours, could be your mum, your dad, a sibling, or a teacher, so on. That's a soulmate who get you. See me have a video for a bit more clarity, and I'm gonna be doing another video based on just a soulmate and how you can identify what a soulmate is and the use usefulness of knowing what a soulmate is but today this video is 15 symptoms based on the twin flame so i hear everyone at the back saying <laughs> saying what on uh, what on earth is a twin flame so first point is that we all are energy so we all are a flame it goes to my point where um uh, having a match and striking it creates a flame so when god creates us he splits us into two and sends uh, not everybody sends everyone out to the universe and then it's our goal in life to find that perfect soulmate or say that perfect twin flame now mate and that person you would make for life so you see swans they make for life they they mate and have many 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 um babies with the same group and when one dies it, they do not go on to have any more children from what I'm, I've been told so let's just jump into this because I know you're probably in, wanting to know what the hell I'm talking about so when you create a twin flame um, in my mind you strike a light you strike a match and then that flame appears so the first point I want to talk about is something brings you together beyond um, something brings you together but it's, you just don't know where it comes from i've got my notes down here so i can keep on track and give you as much good content as possible so when you meet that first person or that person who's your twin flame it can just come out of anywhere it could be someone you probably know someone you don't know but it moves up a level for example say with somebody you know and then your friend becomes your lover and then go on to have children and I had a friend that this happened to. Let me just give a quick example on that. So he knew this person for about two years and they were together and um, he met this lady and they got on really well and they were friends and they met through work and they just stayed in, stayed in contact. He's always had a crush on her and vice versa, but nothing really evolved with it. Anyway, one day, it sounds like it's one of those um, books, isn't it? Anyway, one day they went out um, Bob's your uncle and so on and so forth and they got together, spent a night together, things developed, they really enjoyed themselves but they didn't feel awkward about it, they just felt it was right. Anyway, three years later, one and a half children down the line, they are having a second child. That's what I'm talking about, a twin flame. And when they meet, when they met, he said to me, I've always known there's something about it couldn't place what it was Matt but I just knew for some reason in the back of my mind she was going to be the mother of my children you just instinctively know that this person is going to be there and have your children and if and you know you two are going to be together so the second point is um, you share the same interests and hobbies yes it is key sometimes some people have opposite of hobbies and interests or may or not have done it before so for example somebody may be um, interested in sports or in um, um, computers or so on and this other person may not so when you meet your twin flame you automatically will you grow you, as, and again it goes by um, like Karnak uh, the reason I could say uh, my, my slogan is we learn together we grow together because I believe we all me 
and my knowledge what I'm sharing we it's all about learning about growth so it's about us being within the same flame so we learn together we grow together and this is what you both will do as you when you get together so your interests are very similar you will interest you will find that you have a lot of similarities and the things that you enjoy doing um, and you may want to go and explore that and I would always say go and do that so you may be interested in horse riding but when you mention it to your partner she would go she would say oh well yeah I've always wanted to do it but never had the opportunity and that's where the opportunity comes from when you go out and you both have that in common and you can go out and enjoy that situation the other thing is as well you may you may not like something but experiencing it with your twin flame it gives it a new a connotation or, or a different view and you and then it would help you to develop your relationship with her or with him so the next point which is point three is you said the same emotional problems yes you probably would have been through the the same parallel universe you both would have experienced exactly the same kind of trauma or troubles um and I know so many people, it was almost kind of like <clears throat> they felt that they've lived the same life as the other person. And this is because you have. This is because you. In, it's like twins. It's like you instinctively know that someone else is going through this. And you, when you meet, you learn from each other. So as you go on together and you experience that situation or another situation, you both can support each other through that process this is what the twin flame is there for so you would have the same emotional and also the same troubles that you face and though you may not have known each other but the similarities in life is the same i don't mean breaking up with boyfriends and i don't mean um arguing with family i mean like um, people passing away change of jobs bankruptcy um loves um, travel all these things all equate to having the same trouble or having an emotion so point four is um a strong physical attraction now for me this isn't just oh yeah she's fit or he's fit and yeah i just want to get it on this is on a deeper level remember you're looking at their inner self so when you meet that person you they may be somebody totally different than who you would have dated before and you may be an athletic person and a person may be just into an academic point of view and they're probably not even seen what a gym looks like. Um, but you two, but you probably will find that person irresistible and vice versa. That does happen and I've seen that happen and I've read for people that it's happened and I've known people that have been in that situation and they've been happily married for over five years and they have children. So it's possible and it is going to happen. You'd be surprised what the twin flame is because you're not talking about experiences on this planet you're talking about spiritual experiences that you will have over a period of time from within which you both have been created with so when you grow and, you have, and when you meet that person they would have these physical things about them that you'll be drawn to so point five is you share the same dreams and goals now Again, this is going through your experiences and what I said about your um, interests and your emotional troubles. Now, you may want to start traveling, but you've not had the opportunity to. And meeting this person, your twin flame, you may decide, or you probably more than likely will decide, to go with that person. Again, so many people I know have met and traveled. And some people will be going like, well, they wouldn't even know what an inside of a travel agent looks like you know or they were just staying within the uk um but these people have gone on traveling around the world with their part with this person and they've loved it and they've gone away for two three years on these traveling expeditions and worked abroad so that i'm not saying that's always what you're gonna gonna do but you have the same dreams and the same levels of goals so if you want to achieve anything it won't be for the fact that you want to be well off and then the other person doesn't want to or um, thinks it's wrong they will have the same the same aspirations as you that is another key sign to the twin flame the second point is I'm sorry the sixth point is um, to finish off your words which and this happens so many times and me and my partner we always do and I seem to know what she's going to say and I'll go and she's up in the mouth and goes yeah that's exactly it and she'll be like what and she'll go blah 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 and then she'll be like 
you know this is just weird and that type of thing you get it sometimes manifests so if this comes up with when i talk about the soulmate that's one of the traits of a soulmate as well because remember we're talking about souls as well but with a twin flame it almost all the time it's almost like you know the stories of twins when you see twins feel and see and experience the same thing as each other it's the same scenario that's what a twin flame's about um point seven um communication without words similar to what i just said you don't even have to even look at each other you just instinctly know and i've been in situations where i've gone to my partner and i've looked at her and she just goes all right and then she would just know exactly what it's what it's called telepathy um there were points where where um you will like if it's your birthday or it's christmas they will instinctly buy exactly what you want without you selling them and sometimes they'll buy more than what you wanted that only you have had and that is a freaky part about it and that's what's so powerful and that's a massive sign to show that they are your twin flame is that they buy the stuff that you up here have been thinking about it and it's in here and then they go out and purchase it without you kind of like dropping a hint point eight understanding complex parts of each other so yeah the, comp the complexity of the individual so if you're a complex person and you are sometimes unemotionally available the person your twin flame will make you emotionally available and vice versa reason why i hear you say why is that matt why is that because you trust the person no end remember that you trust the person no matter what because you know you can feel vulnerable and you know vulnerable with them and you know they will look after you because they have only your interests within their heart and vice versa and if they know you're hurting they're gonna hurt so the reality is is that they will not hurt you because that's what their love is about so don't be too afraid to be un um um, emotionally available because that's a key part of your growing of your inner um, of your development of your twin flame or seeing your twin flame so point nine is knowing what the person is doing of a day oh my gosh this is so powerful so you the person your partner will call you and then you go you would, for example, you would just buy them flowers, yeah, for example, or I'd say chocolates, you know, because that's just what everyone does. But you, you buy something that they enjoy. Like for my other half, because um, she's vegan, I would buy a, um, um, like a latte and just bring it, like if I'm out and I'm, where, and I'm, because I travel around, I might bring it to her work and go here. And she'd go, how did you know? It goes, just had a feeling that you were getting a bit of a travel in time or buy a muffin and a, um, a latte and uh, so your latte and then um, she'd be like oh my gosh yeah yeah i have and or if she's in a good mood um or oh, that help pick picks her up yeah um or she's for example she's bought me um educational books and she knows exactly what book i'm looking for because she goes i get you that's the t key things that happened um i know other twin flames has even bought homes you know for somebody and the person just loved it and because they know the reality is if you love it the person should love it as well because remember you cut from the same cloth that and the key other key thing is that's the same as well you cut from the same cloth that's what a twin flame is you cut from the same cloth so um point 10 is you are passionate about each other oh my gosh um your biggest fan is your partner you know, your biggest plan is your twin flame. They'll be out there, like, singing and dancing. They'll be your greatest campaigner. They'll be the one that is putting you in. I don't mean, like, when you have somebody that loves you and they will just go, oh, yeah, they're good at this. They will um, be able to speak for you and you can trust them to deliver your message without you telling them what you want from them. Does that make sense? So 
I've been in a situation where, um, and I've had people who've done it as well, is where even in business or even in um, um, emotional things where they've gone and worked on the situation for the partner and it's been for the, the benefit of, of your twin flame and they've been happy about it because they may be not ready to face that fear but because you've made that first steps it's not about you ch controlling because you're not controlling it's about you helping them to do it a certain way and then saying to them your partner saying look this is what i've done this is for what reason x y and z so that's another key point so point 11 arguments are more intense oh my gosh my arguments are intense and i don't mean intense where they're violent it's really deep because remember, and this is an important part about your twin flame that you must remember. When you argue, it's been respectfully arguing, but let's not call it arguing, let's call it debating because that's what you're doing. You're debating with each other about certain things. You are saying like, you're talking about deep things which you know your twin flame really is passionate about. And when they say something to you, it's uh, or against what you believe or what you feel is right, it rips deep. And it's to the point where some people will say, oh my gosh, it's not that bad. But to the other twin flame, it is because it's your other mirror image of you. You know, it's like you doing it to yourself. It's almost like um, you stabbing yourself, you know, and that's, so that's what key. And that, to all twin flames as well if you're out there and you're listening to this um when you argue or you debate i call it um be aware of the power that you have and how much you can hurt your other half and because you hurt them you're hurting yourself so please be mindful of when you're together and when you're debating something because it will develop but moving forward it it's a good thing because it you know, when you get back together, there's a making up session, you know, and we all know you've got that physical attraction. It's Karma Sutra, baby. It's all the way, you know, and it's it's just perfect. So, point 11. You complete, um, you, you feel completed. So, you no longer look for some, another suitor. You no longer go out and date, you know, go out and meet people. Now, or you don't have no interest in anybody else. This is where, it's another key thing, this is similar to the soulmate, but on a level, you date another, other, you don't even window shop, you know, you don't even look at another person from a sexual prowess or a sexual point of view. You may look at that person and go, oh, they look good in that outfit, but you might want to buy that outfit for your soulmate, you know? So even with us, we go, oh, she looks, I say, she looks good in that. Um, dress or their like, shoes and so on um, I get I'm really good with fashion and so, so um, sometimes I help my I'm half of her wardrobe and um, she everyone all of her friends are like oh my gosh like you have changed man you look good and um, she says oh, I got my original Gok Wang <laughs> so it's um, yeah hey I've been in fashion baby for years so um, it's been a part of my job um, I study fashion, but um, I, I, I love fashion. Anyway, on the flip side to that, with your um, twin flame, um, they're completing you, they will make you feel like you don't need anybody else. And I don't mean you dusting other people off. I mean, you won't need um, to confide in a lot more people because you should be able to o emotionally open up and being able to have that conversation with your twin flame even if it's difficult or even if it's not difficult, that's the important part of this development of your twin flame. So point 13 is you feel like you've known them for many lives. Oh yeah, you feel like you've known them. I'm not, not much to say on this. It's like, it's like you've known, there's, it, you, just, you just instantly know that you've known them and you, you're forever trying to work out who on earth or where on earth you met them don't bother because you will never work it out unless you have um it won't it's just in here where you've known them and you've known them remember because you've known them at the beginning of time and you may have been in together as um soulmates but not realizing that you're twin flames so in this incarnation that you'll become 
spiritually self-aware um, of your own content that you are looking to find that twin flame and in the meantime you would just be soulmates brothers sisters mom dad and so on but this life is where you realize that they're your twin flame so um when you know you've known it for all that time it's it's because you have point 14 you love tra traveling together yeah you do um the experience of traveling i love going places i i hate going places on my own um and the same with a lot of the twin flame people i know who have even though if have lived for 10 15 years single lives when they meet that twin flame they won't go anywhere I can't say anyway, it sounds a bit kind of stupid really, doesn't it? I mean, they, won't, they will go like shopping on their own, yeah, of course, but they won't go out for the day on their own and they will find it really hard to go out with their friends. They like to go out as a group, of, like as a couple. And again, this is me calling upon other Twin Flame couples. When you find friends who have Twin Flames, don't just try and bring out just the guys and guys. Go as a couple because it's about developing and them to experience in their relationship amongst other people that i'll talk about this in another video but it is in key important i call it um, trans transformation of coupling because when you're together as a twin flame and you're as a couple um you must have your little hub and you won't want anybody in, in there but you want to go out as a group and when you go out as a group you must remember that you you exist as a group and it's not about group things it's about you understanding that you're developing um your relationship or you you're, you're you're becoming conscious of yourself like the planet is and the final point is connection um your connection is on multiple levels yes on multiple multiple levels so multiple levels spiritual physical emotional um academic everything you will be there for that person you will support that person through everything that you need. It is really, um, best way I can explain it, you met someone, it's really heightened, it's really riled up your emotions. And because of that, you turn around and all this stuff comes up and you're not really sure, you must feel good to lally. No, it's because you found your twin flame. Now, I hope that's helped. Please leave comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Now, um, stay safe, stay blessed, love from the eternal flame. See you soon in the next video.